What's up? What's happening? It is I, Dr. Stevie Aisha Mills. Hey! And we are here. Listen, y'all know Moneymakers Media normally comes on Tuesday at 3 p.m., but it is Thursday at 1 p.m. <laughs> Eastern Standard Time. Everybody might not be in the same time zone, but it's all good. It's all good. We are um, doing this because guess what? In eight days, it is the number of grace. In eight days, we are launching the inaugural no more hidden figures virtual retreat honey and you don't want to miss it let me tell you no more hidden figures if you have not gotten your ticket what the world are you waiting on it is free to come and all you have to go to is i'm not a hidden figure so i'm not i am i know my accent throws people off but i'm not a hidden figure.com i'm not a hidden figure.com and you could go ahead and get in your place to be so today we got some of these y'all see these beautiful faces just a right yes jesus a beautiful faces all around me and so we are excited and ignited and those of you who are in the podcast world y'all can see those beautiful faces too because guess what if you go get your ticket at i'm not a hidden figure.com you gonna see them because they're gonna be there so <laughs> let's talk about this i am going to give you all the opportunity to meet them and i want to start with mary moss and i want her to go ahead and tell you who she is, what she's doing with I'm not a hidden figure.com. That's the link, right? Mm -hmm. What she's doing to, get, to be part of No More Hidden Figures virtual retreat and all that greatness. So, Miss Mary, I turn it over to you. Thank you, ma'am. I am Mary Moss. I'm the founder and owner of Divinely Designed. And my mission is to help you divinely design your words to heal the world. But today I am here to talk about this amazing retreat that I can't wait to be a part of. I am not only an attendee, I'm also a sponsor and will be a vendor during the retreat. That is how excited I am to be a part of this. I didn't want to miss a single minute and you don't either. Yes, y'all hear that? Mary says she she gonna be all up. She gonna be here, there, everywhere. Y'all better get in her Walter. So <laughs> I'm so excited about that. Thank you, Mary, for all you do and all you are. So my girl, Dr. T, what's going on? Who are you and what you doing? Hey, you guys. This is your girl, Dr. T, with Sustain Your Biz Academy and Sustain Your Biz LLC. I'm a proud sponsor of this amazing retreat. Let me tell you, y'all need to get in here quickly because seats for this retreat is filling up. And I am just gonna sit back and take in, although I'm a sponsor, I want to learn and continue to absorb what God has for me into living in this purpose of sustaining your biz and what that means to women that are coming in the door. So get everything you can, guys, now. Now, right now. Go to where? I'm not him figure.com. Well, thank you, Dr. T. <laughs> Next up is Yvonne. Hello, darling. Hello, hello, hello. I am so happy to be here among these queens. This is an awesome time. My name is Yvonne Brown. I am the CEO and founder of Affirm and Pursue, also Affirm and Pursue Academy. And I simply empower women to be the greatest at all the, the things that they love to do, right? And especially their money matters. So if you're all about removing debt, you're all about, you know, using your coins to redirect it, to build wealth. I am the person that can help you to soar in those areas. I am proud and honored to be a sponsor for this event um, and to just see what women empowerment is truly all about and to help us move out of our own way so that we, we can have a seat at the tables and that we can encourage other women to come forth and to shine bright, right? Because that's what we're about. We're about not being a hidden figure anymore. So thank you. Happy to be here. Yay, 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 yay. And so next up, I'm gonna call Brenda. Thank you, Yvonne. I'm so excited y'all saying y'all proud and honored. That blesses me. I ain't telling them say that y'all. They say now. <laughs> so <laughs> Miss Brenda. I too am proud to be here, Stevie. And I am Brenda Sawyer, the founder and CEO of Girls Walking with Integrity, Empowering for Destiny. That is to empower and encourage. Christian women's 
purpose and to transform them with biblical principles. And I am going to be one of the speakers and I, I won't miss, I don't want to miss it. I mean, I, I'm excited. I really am. It's going to be tremendous. And it's not time for anybody to hide anymore. No more hidden figures. So as Dr. Stevie said, go to I am the letter M, I am no more hidden figures.com and be there. I know you're not yes. square, but be there. <laughs> I'm yes. excited. I'm not a hidden figure.com. Y'all gonna know that that web link by yeah. I know You're my know sponsors and speakers <laughs> and vendors know it by heart. I'm not a hidden figure.com. And thank God that everybody is not from the same parts of the country. So whenever they hear, you know, I'm a southerner, but we got some ladies from the north, the south, the east, and the west that can say it a different way. Maybe your ears hear a different dialect. So that's exciting. And so I am amazingly excited to introduce you all to our next person who you like this is my accountability partner so <laughs> she got to see my vision from a different way but she um also is going to do a very special role at no more hidden figures virtual retreat and so hello darling how are you let me get off mute. Hey, everybody. I am so phenomenal and excited to be here. My name is Ayoka, and I have the honor and the privilege to be able to host this event, and I cannot wait. I know we're going to get real crazy that weekend in a good way. Um, I am so excited about this brand. Uh, I am the CEO of Streamline Success International and the founder of Boss Mom University, where we grind differently. And we love to help new creative, visionary mompreneurs of faith to be able to monetize their knowledge as well as um, monetize their knowledge and streamline the success in 30 minutes or less. And I am elated to be able to run with Stevie on this because I know what it's like and mean to be hidden for so long and have no voice and now to be able to give a platform to women where they can now speak on their behalf and I'm coming from the mom perspective so I am grateful for this opportunity and just excited to be here yay 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 yay, yay. so um I'm I'm thrilled y'all so listen the next question I have for you all is why now in 2020, about to be 2021, after we have gone through, you know, the whole thing of the pandemic, after we were introduced to coronavirus, shall we? And what that was, <laughs> it just threw itself on our lives. Why? Because, you know, as our membership says, all of you all are Christian money makers, yay. And that whole thing was started from the process of really being, um, allowing women to learn how to pivot their businesses online in the mix of something that was going on in the world. And so, you know, it's so much noise out here. It is an election year. Go vote. Um, whoever you vote for is your business, but go vote. That's very important. It's an election year. Um, and we got to make sure that we are doing the right thing so that our voices can be heard and we can be seen. So what I want to ask you is, and I'm going to start with Yvonne on this one. I want to ask you, why is it important, like, na like right now, to become unhidden? Um, well, you know, tomorrow is not promised to anyone. Um, I don't know if anyone here has been impacted by losing someone close, near and dear. Um, those are wake-up calls, right? And also, we're called, according to the word, right, to use our gift for a purpose. And if you have a gift and God has called you into a purpose, you need to use it. Um, I think oftentimes we shy away from our, our divine assignment and what better time than now? I mean, what are we waiting for? And the world needs to hear what we have to give them. You know, I lead from a servant's heart as many of these women here on this platform do. I see you guys moving and shaking in all arenas of what you do and people need to hear what we have. Um, healing needs to happen. Love needs to happen. Um, and that can only come from us using our gifts and showing people how to move from where they are out of a place of, it could be trauma, um, it could be lacking self-worth, it could be a place of uncertainty. Now is the time for us to do that because tomorrow is not promised and we should not forsake what God has given us. So that's what I believe is why we need not to stay hidden. Amen, amen, mm -hmm. amen, amen. I love all that. And so, Ayoka? 
Yes, my children were uh, talking to me. Repeat the question for me, Stevie. <laughs> why is now very important to not be a hidden figure? Like, why should women emerge from their hiding spaces right now? Oh, well, that is because for so long, we have put ourselves on the back burner for so many times. Um, and given the fact that there is somebody, and everybody can relate to this, there's somebody waiting on you to fulfill the destiny and purpose in your life because of where the Father has called them to be. So if you continue to hide, you're not helping anyone and you're surely not helping yourself. Then that means you're living an unfulfilled life that's causing more stress, more pain, more worry, when you could actually be living in joy and peace and a life, as Stevie calls it, a life that you love. And then imagine how different your life will impact your children, your spouse, your community, and everybody that you come in contact with. It is no longer time for us to hide because we just don't have time for it anymore. It's that important that our lives, our well-being, our mental health, and others are depending on our yes. Awesome. Awesome. I love this blaze are brilliant. I learned from them too. Listen, I'll be sitting there with my pen and paper too. So <laughs> Ms. Brenda, same question. Yes, well, I piggyback off the ladies because someone out there is hurting. Well, some people are hurting. And this is the time that they need to hear our stories because we all have a story to give. Uh, and uh, we have been gifted by God. Our, our assignment is to go out there and to teach the nations. And someone needs to hear that. Someone's, in fact, if we hide, someone's waiting for it and they can't get it because we're hidden. So there no more, should be no more hidden figures because someone needs to hear it right now, like today. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Yeah. Yes. Dr. T? And just the idea of no more hidden figures, of course, you know, it kind of talks about what we do in the backside to make things work. And as an entrepreneur, a CEO, um, you know, so long you see the business, but you don't see what's behind the business and what's, what is there to get started. So that's why I would sustain your biz you know, and meeting you and being able to push that forward because I didn't see anybody there for me when I was starting my business. I didn't see anybody as a mom um, entrepreneur. I didn't see anybody as, you know, first generational doctor. I didn't see anybody like me. And I learned from trial and error um, because in the field that I'm in, in the eye care field, they don't teach you business. So I'm creating a space for women entrepreneurs that we can provide them the tools that they need to make sure that they have that foundation so they can sustain their business. And, we're, and we are living in such a, uh, a difficult time right now when it comes to small business. Like I, I have literally had people say, Doc, I'm, I can see you. Keep doing what you're doing. And I'm like, thank you for Corona. I don't know if that was it, but thank you for pushing me into this, not being in the, in the behind the scenes, almost like that person is behind creating the acting and the stage, right? Now you're in front, you're the actor, you're the one that's putting forth the message. And that's, that's why no more hidden figures is, and I'm not going to be a hidden figure anymore. Love it, love it, love it, love it. And Miss Mary. Yes, ditto what all of these amazing ladies have said. And, and like you said, I, I learn every day from all of them. I'm uplifted and encouraged by all of them. Um, I, I am just honored to be in this company. I have always said that our redemption story could be someone else's lifeline. And that's why it's our responsibility to share. We didn't get here by taking the easy path, none of us. And some of us who are more mature um, may have had some ups and downs and twists and turns, but that gives us just a wealth of knowledge that the world needs to hear, that the younger women in this world need to hear, especially since we all come from a place of faith and that we acknowledge and, and um, are so joyful that our faith is what got us here and that we didn't do it on our own. We did it with God's help. 
Amen. 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 I love all of that. And I would be remiss, like literally just to say, you know, we all came together, just some history about how we all came together. And so at the beginning of the pandemic, <laughs> Um, I, I just said, let's just have something. Let's just have something. I just put out a call to a lot of different women to show them how to get online. Cause honestly, I've been online for years. My business has always been an online business for the most part. And it came from me, like not wanting to do business in just my backyard. You know, some of these ladies live in larger cities, like capitals and, you know, big cities and, just all kinds of amazing places however I was always that small town girl <laughs> you know anything my pastor always just says anything that has a borough or a bill at the end of it is small <laughs> and so I grew up in Greensboro and now live in Roanoke um which I spent part of my life there too but the thing is I was like I don't want to just do my business I want to be able to grow large and so online platform did that for me and then we started what was then called the money makers club and so you know it's a great space and a great position for women to be able to meet who I'm sure most of the women did not know each other before that time and it also allowed for gift skills talents and abilities which I call your it factor to be created you know some of the ladies in our organization they've been able to pull from different parts and say well I can use this it factor piece to put this here or I have this skill or I have that and I can monetize it and so that's just been a beautiful thing to be able to see now we are Christian money makers and I feel really really great about that because God is in our businesses like he is on the clock of our businesses right because he created our businesses and I always say that God utilizes our our businesses to evangelize the world I do believe that even the fact that I came into a business because I was not on slate to be a business owner I would not have gone all the way to grad school to own a business because I didn't have to do it <laughs> But he allowed me to to do that. And that's something remarkable. So that just shows my it factor and some great things, which I'll be telling more of my story and my testimony at um, the No More Hidden Figures virtual retreat. But what I do want to ask, and I'm saying all this to bring this around, because right now we have a 14 day trial if you want to become a member of our Christian money makers. So there's a 14 day trial that you get to come and experience. And none of these ladies got that. They they just jumped out in the deep, honey, and trusted the Lord and trusted me. <laughs> they didn't get that. So that's something revolutionary that's being done. And so I want to have these ladies speak on the question. I'm gonna say this and then we're I'll call upon you each what is the greatest thing that you've experienced in this journey to become Christian money makers? Like why somebody looking at this or listening to this, why say yes to that, to that invitation? Cause that's literally what we're making an invitation to come and be part of our world. And since you are very um, key parts of our world, why do you think somebody should take us all up on our invitations to do that? So I will start this time with Yvonne. Hey, yeah, um, it's hard to find a group um, that is impactful. And I found with this group, you guys are impactful for me, right? Um, also in terms of the networking and the ability to just be yourself, you know, and to know that the principles that Dr. Stevie teaches, um, it, it shines through not only in her community, but in her work. Like she literally shows the fruits of her labor. And that's, that's important. That's important for me um, when I look to be a part of something greater than myself. And so for anyone who is considering uh, being a part of the Christian Moneymaker group, you want to make sure that you're looking for a place where you can not only be authentic, um, but you can see the fruits of the person who's leading it. And Dr. Stevie does that for each and every lady that comes on board. And she, she also responds. Like, I can't tell you how many things I've been a part of where the person who's leading, they don't respond in a timely manner. I can reach out to Dr. Stevie and she responds to me with kindness and grace. Um, she gives me coaching. Like, 
she may not think she's giving me the coaching, but she's always in coaching mode. And I think that's, a, that's important, especially for a lady who kind of is on the shy side, like I, I tend to be, um, but she pulls, she has her way of pulling things out of you. And if that's what you're looking for, if you're looking for a community, if you're looking for a person who leads this community with those qualities, that is why you should consider being a part of a movement like this. This is a movement, you know, this is, yes, it's on Facebook, but this is a movement. This is something greater than all of us. And um, those are the things that I think it's paramount in these times, especially for women who are looking to soar in their businesses. Hey man, thank you. And Yvonne's bad. Y'all don't listen. That <laughs> she's done some remarkable things in her business and in her life. I'm just like, yes, lady. I need to know this. I need to learn this. And I love bringing that out. So yes, y'all will see definitely more of these faces because y'all need to know it. Like I need to know it. So I need y'all to give more so that <laughs> we all can know it. So thank you, Miss Brenda. Well. I am so happy to be a part of this uh, Money Makers Club. And I, because it's brought me to a realization that, okay, there are no more hidden figures and I'm not hiding anymore because I always like to be behind the scenes. But I have been stretched by Dr. Stevie and I can't even begin to, to tell you. This group is a non judgmental group, it's a safe zone and it, it brings out the best in each person. All of the women are sisters in Christ. And we, you know, we help each other, we stand by each other, and um, Dr. Stevie is accessible. You can reach out to her. This, you know, there's no problem. You just, you know, reach out to her and she'll, she'll give you what you need. So she's encouraged me a lot, and I'm just happy to be here. So I would advise you to take this 14-day trial, because you're going to love it. You're going to actually join, okay? Please do that. Do it for yourself. It's great. I'm enjoying being here. Yay. I'm thankful for you all. And I want to say these ladies have made some investments through this opportunity. Like they have invested. I always say invest in themselves through me because I don't believe it's an investment in me, but I think it's just through, through me. And so these ladies that you all see on um the screening that you get to hear today they when i tell you they've invested inside of themselves that's why they are reaping the fruits that they have because you, they're great ground and when you sow in great ground then you're able to take it to the next level so my next person i'm gonna ask to come and speak is ioka because she y'all she just did this amazing like rebrand of my website so she got to see everything she knows the ins and outs of everything she's got to see you know i i do share screenshots about my income i haven't been doing that lately but she definitely she y'all can ask her <laughs> she sees it and so i definitely want to bring you to the forefront yes if i had to oh summarize my experience with christian money makers and dr stevie there's so many words that come to mind. Uh, one of the main words is grace, um, genuine, heartfelt. Um, when you put something out there, not just Dr. Stevie, but the rest of the community responds with feedback, with suggestions, with ideas, with encouragement. We support one another. And I must say one of the greatest things is mindset shifting. Of all the times that I have interacted with Dr. Stevie, the one thing she really helped me to get the path that I'm on now and to get my business to where it is now, because I was constantly trying to just walk through and work through. And when you're a leader with a leader, a lot of times you feel like you have to always be on point. But I found that with her and the relationship that we've developed, she allowed me to just be no titles, but just be. And because of that, I was able to start to cultivate a life that I love and really think about, well, what is it that Ioka wants? What is going to bring me the most joy as a woman, as a mom, as an entrepreneur? And that has shifted the trajectory of how I do business, what I'm doing in business, who I'm called to serve, how I serve. And I can... Got a little background. Okay, bring her here. Bring her here. This real life. This real life. This real life here. I'm a mom. What do you say? We homeschooling. Bring her here, guys. Please. Um, 
but just the joy of having, just like that, someone who understands and gives the grace. So I'm going to end it there because she's crying a lot. Oh, <laughs> Dr. T. Yeah, she, she just, um, she, she um, really um, hit the hammer on the nail. I mean, and that's what it's all about, you know, that we do support one another. But the, the, some of the words that I have, again, our, our guess is alignment, authenticity, and focus. Um, and of course, being an eye doctor, I have to put the focus piece in it. But the one, I think from my time with Stevie and the Christian Moneymakers, and again, um, my platform, we say winning, right? And win means welcoming in the new you, investing in yourself and never give up on you. So that I, I had to do for myself as well. And I had to invest in myself so that I can grow. And Stevie just every time we're in our sessions and our coaching sessions, again, she, she takes out the CEO and she takes out the, the leader and she puts you in the seat of you, right? That you need to visualize this for yourself in order for others to visualize how you want to help them. And that's how I say with alignment. And again, in the group, um, Miss Mary texted me this morning about something. I did not hesitate. I was like, just call me Mary. Just call me Miss Mary. We was on the phone. I mean, and of course, this is, this is we've created such a sisterhood um, within here. So if you're, if you're looking for a place of genuineness, alignment, and focus, um, and just true authentic, or authenticity of women that are in Christ, because you know, women can be catty. You don't have that here. And we don't allow it here. And I think we will probably call it out once it happens, <laughs> if it happens. However, we, we really truly want to build each other up because um, Stevie's successes is our success and our success is everybody else's success in the group. Amen, amen. And so Ms. Mary? Well, again, I echo what all the other ladies have said. Um, for me, I've always said it's so funny because I don't really remember how we got connected, but I've always felt that we were supposed to be connected. Um, I, the things I love about Stevie and about working with her is that she does encourage us to celebrate ourselves and our own uniqueness and that there's nothing wrong with us. We are who God made us to be and our job is to figure out how to accomplish our divinely designed assignment in the world in our own unique way. And I so appreciate that because I've had coaches in the past that would say, oh, just be yourself, just be yourself, but do it this way. <laughs> and so what I love is that there's no, but do it this way. And even when she is giving advice or dispensing ideas, it's like, but you have to decide what works for you. And that is so empowering because, of course, all of our ideas are brilliant, but to just be empowered to, to claim whatever path we decide to take. Um, the other thing is the transparency and her willingness to share her own journey with us in all transparency, good, bad, and everything in between. Um, that's huge because that shows me that that's the kind of leader that I want to be. I want to be vulnerable and not be ashamed of it, but to rejoice that I've grown and learned from that and to encourage others the same way. And finally, I would just say that this is truly a ministry, not only for Stevie, but I believe for all of us. Um, like Dr. T said, I texted her. She's like, call me. The same thing has happened to me on any given day. Anyone in the group who has a question or a concern or let me run something past you, we don't hesitate to reach out to each other because we know we're going to, um, to be helped. But we also know that, um, you know, what I, I value that someone texts me to ask my advice and to, um, to seek help. And the, the whole group is that way. Like they said, it, it's all genuine. We're all, um, we're too busy to be playing around with games and, and that type of thing. So I really appreciate it. Awesome, awesome. Y'all heard her, we're too busy to be playing games. And speaking of busy, I did not want to take a whole lot of 
time out of these busy and brilliant and beautiful ladies days and listen if you are not at no more hidden figures virtual retreat next week i don't know what to tell you like i'm gonna be there i've my face if you're here on i'm saying this visually then you saw i was all up in it because <laughs> i believe that there was the wisdom in everyone and there are women who are mothers here who are um wives here who are brilliant brick and mortar businesses here who are doing things that i've never done and i believe that school is never out for the pro so i'm not i'm it might be the vision that god allowed me to put into the ground but i'm not the vision carrier i'm not the only vision carrier here and so i want y'all to go to i'm not a hidden figure.com just be in the space and you'll talk we'll talk about how you could furthermore get your two-week trial there are certain women you can reach out to who have have links for you everything and i do want to thank you ladies i want to thank you yvonne just for just being you yvonne you are a beautiful brilliant vessel who god has just empowered to help us financially like that is that is deep because we all like even four years ago my situation was very different the things that you see online now and the money that's been made now is very different but four years ago i was in a space where it wasn't that and so you doing the things that you do please keep doing them because people need that that is a need we cannot live in this world without finances that is that's is so important so never downplay that i'm <sighs> miss brenda you are remarkable the fact that you are just a wealth of wisdom that you know just languages that you literally are goals like when i shoot i want to look that good and speak that well and be that fun when i am your age you inspire me beyond belief and i am just so thankful for you dr t you know you're my girl <laughs> and dr t has some real good conversations with my girl and it's a real thing and i appreciate that because not only are you brilliant not only are you proven you know and as a doctor i love that she's like i am a doctor but that's not you don't have i'm i am Dr. t listen i am tamra that's it that's i love that about you because there are so many people who would not have that have that thought and so i appreciate and plus you're an hbcu grad so we're here so <laughs> Miss Mary, you know that we have fun. We are like, listen, as soon as the world opens up even more, I don't know when I'm gonna get to Richmond, but you down the road. We got it, it's gonna connect. We're gonna see each other. It might be sooner than later that we see each other in person. Like, girl, I don't even drink coffee, but join me for coffee. It's on me. So <laughs> you know, that and you all uh, Ioka. You we talk every Friday, like we'll talk tomorrow. And that being able to have that and just be able to see you living your life and doing your thing and it's, it's beautiful to me and i am just excited that more women will be able to know about and hear about and learn from all of you so i am grateful that you spent this time with me i'm grateful that you have invested money through through me i am very grateful i don't count that lightly at all because you don't have to there are so many other people in the world so gosh y'all know how i end stuff First off, I'm going to say, go to I'm not a hidden figure.com. Y'all need to go there. But <laughs> make it a great day. Don't have a great day. Make it a great day. Why? Because you, you, you. And yes, you too have the power to do so. Bye for now, my darlings. <laughs>